guitar.com. How are you doing, world? Right on. Check this out. There's a special young lady in my heart that um, I was like listening to her stuff, and I was like, you know, I got a lot of buddies that are like, man, I can't believe you're listening to that. I was like, you know what, dude? Just if you peel away a lot of the stuff, and if you actually check out any of the footage of what they do live, they're adding a lot of what we do to it. So it's cool. But just what you're listening to the first round is what the producer chose, and you know, whatever. If you'd like a free video lesson and a free ebook that is not on YouTube, click on that little button right below and we'll send it out to you, man. You'll have some good information to getting down. Nextlevelguitar.com. Starting off with uh, as a basic idea is that it's an F sharp minor and I'm adding the nine, as that's what the lick is. So without further ado, I'm gonna show it to you. It's got like a little bit of a funk to it. I'm gonna take off the slap back delay I got going on it. So starting with this, the second fret of the E string, to the fourth fret of the A string. And then the next part is on the uh, the D string. So, so we're going to the second fret of the D string, hammering down on the fourth fret of the, of the D string, and then sliding to the sixth fret. And then the next part. So like uh, we're on the seventh fret of the D string. So uh, I'm pulling off from the seventh fret to the fourth fret, and then hammering down the sixth fret, and then coming down to the uh, seventh fret of the A string. <laughs> coming down to the seventh fret of the A string, back to the fourth fret. And then we're basically got like this little groove going between the fourth fret of the A string and the fifth fret and also the fourth fret of the, the D string. So So to put it together Is, is a little is a little uh, harmonic little thing there, uh, and all that is is if you put your finger over the over the fifth fret, right, and this is over the uh, the A and the D. So. Sliding, like adding a little bit, like a little gliss to that. Now the last part of that is the is the G major seven, and I'm adding uh, the nine and thirteenth. So check this out. You probably heard this too. It's it's very well. It's very major sounding. Starting on the third fret of the G string to the uh, second fret of the A string to the fourth fret of the D string to the fifth fret of the A string. So and then back over here, the second fret of the uh, D string, sliding all the way up, my friends, to the seventh fret. Back to, back to the uh, the fourth fret. Fifth fret of the A string, and then hammer down or pick whatever you like of the seventh seventh fret of the A string. So. like a little bit of the effect it got like a little bit of a little slap back on it you know so it's like kind of adds like a little room when i was thinking of it's like if you're writing a song right and not with the whole band but this whole band can jump in but like if you're just sitting there with the, the, the vocalist and they were doing their thing and you're writing the melody and this is what i came up with so this is perfect if you have have a friend that sings or you're the guy that sings or gal that sings try to try to check it out so so roll it back a little bit with the with the with the dimed out you know, gain, but you know, have it about, about two, whatever. 
jump off you know this is just the point where you learn and then from there uh, I definitely would love to see you run with it in different keys you know uh, heck even different tunings you know what I mean uh, everything to give you an idea and all I'm trying to do is like use a little bit of time and space and in order to develop these melodic lines and you can use a little bit of effects on it in order to even bring them out a little bit more and it, even being one instrument with hopefully a vocal with it seems to actually become a little bigger than what it actually is. So when everybody else jumps in, you have what seems like, like differences of having like having a drummer and having a percussionist and a drummer. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm trying to build here. Until next time, it's been Will Billy, Two Fist McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com. Now check this out. Uh, I, I know you guys have a little bit of time every day as far as before you were actually dedicated to this site or whatnot and taking things out, but it's a good place to look at things when your bricks at work. Thumbnail the stuff, man. It keeps you out of trouble. <laughs> and uh, like I said, there's over 1,250 videos. Everything from the guy who just got a guitar to the guy who's been playing forever. So for beginner to intermediate and to advance, uh, hit us up and we'll definitely get you squared away and moving forward. Until next time, it's been Will Billy, Two Fist McGee with NextLevelGuitar.com. Thank you. Uh -huh.